Wow, you are here just in time to have some fun painting this car right here. Well, not quite yet. We are super close, but a few small details yet need to be addressed before we get that thing painted. So in this video, you might find things might be getting just a little bit tacky, or maybe even worse, maybe a little bit holy. Um, I know, sorry, these jokes don't really get any better around here. I'm not a comedian. I'm a guy who builds cars, has fun playing, putting them back together, and sharing the adventure with you. But we're going to get in today. There is your clue. There's a hood tack. Uh, there's a big old hole saw. We're going to punch some holes in the hood of the great pumpkin before we paint it because we've already established that, well, I tried drilling the holes in the quarter panel for that side trim, the little chrome strips, and I nicked the paint with the drill. So, hmm, lucky me, the car wasn't painted yet. So we're going to use the same idea. We're going to punch the holes in this here, get the hood tack test fitted to make sure we like it, and then we'll proceed to getting the car painted. So it's one of those little things that you need to do before paint. So if you've not done a hood tack, stay tuned and show you how to get this job done. Now I'm not, okay. Now we're not the first people to actually try to put a video together about hood, putting the hood tacks on the old Pontiac here. Um, but the thing about it, do not use a generic template. Um, the thing you can consider normal is the location of the big hole in the hood. That's pretty much standardized. But the little holes for the mounting hardware as indicated in this template, um, which are these bolts here and here are not all the same between manufacturers. This is obviously a repop reproduction. You can see that it's all glued together and it's a sealed unit. That's good because you won't get moisture. That was one of the biggest problems Pontiac had was moisture built up in these hood tacks. So they came with some ideas of running a vent tube to the heater box, putting two light bulbs in it, etc. But they still had a moisture issue on the inside of the face of it, of course, hindering visibility. But this one is a sealed unit. Pros and cons of that you can't take it apart to fix it, but shouldn't have to fix it it's all sealed up so what i'm saying is basically don't just use a generic template you printed offline if you don't have the template make one that matches your hood tack but the big hole here like i said that's pretty universal and it does sit back kind of far by the time you're done punching a hole on the top side you'll actually cut the inner brace uh, i'd show you but i got the hood flipped over here but i'll show you when i get maybe all done but there is a triangular opening. Some people feel it goes in the middle of the inside stamping, um, but it does not. It actually punches through a little bit here on the back edge. That is normal. Actually, I think I can get you down here. That was good enough lighting, great. Now this is what I'm talking about. Here's the triangular opening. Some people feel it needs to be right here centered in that. No, it actually sits back a little further and you'll cut into some of this bracing. Again, that is okay when doing it. That's how the factory did it, and that's the location of it. So that's what we're gonna do here today. I got the template that came with this hood tack. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I already got it cut and trimmed. I'm gonna tape it to the hood here, then we're gonna punch our holes. Template goes right here on the corner of the hood. And you might find the template doesn't fit the contour of the hood 100%. That's okay, these cars aren't perfect. You gotta remember that. For the most part, they are mass produced, slapped together. And those of us who have been inside these cars tearing them apart, you'll see what I'm talking about when they say slapped together. Sometimes the spot wells don't even penetrate, then the panels don't even line up. So perfection isn't a must, but do the best you can and keep it clean, I guess. But this corner's touching, this is touching, but kind of hangs over the back edge of the hood. But for the most part, I'm gonna call this good enough. Tape this down, then we'll get my hole saw set up. Our hole, that's uh, a three and a half inch hole, or three and three quarter inch hole, sorry. I can't believe I said that. Three and three quarter inch hole, it even says it right here. Then we have your two smaller holes here for the mounting, but I'm gonna use these as these the marks here for the center. I'm just gonna just pop the drill just enough to scuff the paint. Then I'm gonna pull this template off and save it for another day because like I said, this hole is right, but don't always guarantee those are correct. There we go. I recommend using a step drill bit for putting holes in sheet metal. It keeps the drill from walking and makes a cleaner hole. I've already scratched the paint now. And then we'll do this one just the same. And we'll take the template off and we'll punch the holes out. Look at that, didn't even tear the template up. All right, one, two, three. I guess moment of truth now punch some holes. Now let's say in about a quarter inch hole or just shy of that. And that's one, two, three, 
four. wipe that stuff off it'll scratch the heck out of your paint so that's all cleaned off now we're going to upgrade to the big hole saw I bought a brand new one just for this occasion, but three and three quarter, like it says right here. Got a little center punch mark there. Let's just see what happens. Now, I'll show you a little secret. This is the very first time I've actually drilled a hole in a hood. Now, I have installed hood tacks. I've had hoods that had hood tacks prior to and had to relocate these smaller holes, but never had the privilege or misfortune or you could say whatever. Let's just go ahead and punch the hole in it. I'm just a little nervous, but I guess here goes nothing. So it looks pretty good now you can see where it cut into the rear of the brace back here that i was talking about that is correct and normal for the location not here centered so that looks pretty good so what does that look like well there's the extra piece i'll sell that on ebay for 500 dollars and that's a super clean hole now that was probably worth buying the new hole saw now you said the thing about drilling holes i've always learned it's a drill, not a punch press. It's a drill. You let it do its job, let it cut, don't force it. And you keep light pressure on it. But look at that. Super clean. I like it. Now, again, don't wipe this metal off. It'll just scratch the heck out of your surface. You know, compressed air, blow it off or something, but get that stuff off there without scratching the paint. And on the underside, that's exactly what it should look like right there. Now, I'll clean up the edge here a little bit with a file. Uh, I got a little bit of little clip hangers hanging on here, but then I think other than that, we're ready to go ahead and wipe this thing off, put it back on the car, and get it painted. You know, I suppose the other thing, we should probably ought to test fit this thing, make sure it actually works and follows their template, but it shouldn't be that overly complicated. Drop that stud there in, and then line up that one there. A little push. Look at that. Pulls up tight, clean, and looks just as good on that side there. Now, look at that. Now, imagine this thing all painted out in bronze, sitting here in the driver's seat watching that thing operate definitely a really cool touch this car didn't come this way from the factory but uh, it was an option on every single first generation firebird except for one and if you can tell me which one you could not get a hood tack on i'll give you bonus points heck i might even send you a t-shirt but uh, of course if you guys know the answer well i've already kind of spoiler i've actually asked that question once before in the past but let's see who remembers or who's learned who else knows the answer well, that wasn't overly complicated. Hood tack installation, drilling the hole. I probably could have done it after it was painted. I didn't damage the paint. I get bonus points today, but it would have left an open face on the steel. So at this point now, when I go to paint that, there'll be some kind of paint on that edge of the hood. And I'll feel a lot better about you know, reducing the possibility or issues with corrosion. But the next thing I'm going to do now is pick that hood up, drag it in here in the garage. Then we're going to remount it back here on the front of the Great Pumpkin because part of the paint process. You can see I've got... The fender's all edged in, the doors are edged in, fenders are edged in, everything's bolted back on, but that hood. I want the hood on. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put the hood on, 
but get it to where I can open and shut it without touching it. And I can paint the edge of the fender there. I'm going to paint the sides of the hood when it's all bolted on here, hopefully, and get it to work where there's no tape lines. And of course, the other advantage of I'll go ahead and putting the hood on, I do a lot of stuff by myself. I know I got a lot of friends. Mr. Cunningham would probably jump in his car right now and drive from Tennessee, clear for just how he puts the hood on and drive back home if I ask him. But I'm going to try to put this hood on without scratching paint. But if I did have an issue, it's not painted yet. That's the advantage. Go ahead and assemble the car. If you do have an accident or a malfunction, eh, you're not too deep into it yet. So you can still recover it relatively easy and get the car looking really super sharp. So the next thing. scream pontiac i don't know what else does hood tack that was a pontiac thing that was one of those things i really think set the cars apart and it literally actually says pontiac right on it so i guess it does scream pontiac ha ah, sorry jokes still aren't any better but imagine that cruising in this car oh actually side note steering wheel is done reef conditioning all done came out great super i actually want to give that an a plus that came out a lot better than i anticipated that uh, 3m flexible plastic repair stuff worked great and i plan to use that on future builds too so just so fyi looks good so you guys can do your steering wheels up just the same but imagine cruising down the road checking out the hood tack looking over the hood and ignoring all the junk against the wall because if you guys actually notice that pile has diminished immensely that used to be a huge pile of parts you know stacked nearly to the ceiling now we're down to the sandblaster and engine hoist old trunk deck there's the new bumper so running out of parts put on we got this box here that pile right there underneath there's the seats those are gonna need reupholstered we're just about done so throw some paint on those little piles and the great pumpkin we finished and um ignore that don't worry about that i don't have an addiction problem um but hood tack is installed if you guys of course now have seen that put on not too difficult i'll show you how to wire that up just the same but that is going to look a fantastic addition for the great pumpkin here so that's going to do it for this time around hood tax installed i'm going to pull that back off get everything masked off and then we're going to put some paint on the great pumpkin no longer will she be naked she will be autumn bronze back to his former glory with a few custom touches with the interior and the hood tack um subtle but clean mods that's kind of my style i don't like going off the deep end i don't like getting too carried away i like keeping it look like it was possibly from the factory but you know still bring some custom touches to make it your own special car but anyway appreciate you following me on this part of the journey i'm working on who knows little knickknacks and we're gonna throw some color on this car and i hope to see you guys then